I'm not trying to appear from behind no bars. Hey, Power Director peeps. We are so blessed to be here with you guys another Saturday. And today, I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful black bar intro effect using Power Director 18 and Power Director 365. If you're new to my channel and you want to learn how to use Power Director, click the subscribe button and click on the bell to get notifications every time I upload content to YouTube. If you're thinking about using this dope effect in your next video, I want you to put hashtag black bars in the comment section below. Here we are in Power Director. The black bar intro effect adds a cinematic element to your videos by starting off your videos with a black screen and slowly revealing the scene to your audience. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful black bar intro for your videos. It's time to add some black beauty to our videos. And I ain't talking about a horse. As you can see, I have an image of a beautiful snow-capped mountain peak in the timeline. If I play this back, you see the beauty and the majesty of the snow-capped mountain peaks all up in front of your face. Okay, I'm gonna stop that. I wanna make this video appear from an all-black screen by opening two black bars. So the few things that we gotta do, and the first thing that we wanna do is you want to make the screen completely black to hide the video. So you wanna left click on the video. You wanna go to designer. And then you wanna go to mask designer. The mask designer will open up. And the first thing that you wanna do is select a mask. And we're gonna select a full screen mask by left clicking on it. And now you can see that it is full screen, but it is not all the way spread out. The width is not there. Height is not where it needs to be. And we need it to be black. So there's a few steps that you need to do to make it black. So if you want to scroll down to the scale section. Under scale, the first thing that you want to do is uncheck maintain mask aspect ratio. You want to uncheck that. Then you want to make the width full width all the way across the screen. So we're gonna go to the width setting and we're gonna type in one and hit enter. And now we can see the entire video. But you might be saying, I thought you wanted a black screen. Well, I do and I'm gonna make it black right now. So to do that, you go to height and you wanna change the height to zero and hit enter. The next thing that we wanna do is create the animation. And to create the animation of the black bars opening up, we need to use keyframes. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to add a scale keyframe right here at the beginning. So our playhead should be at the beginning and we should have our settings a width of one and a height of zero. And at this point, we want to go ahead and click on the scale keyframe for the beginning. And then you want to move your playhead to a position where you want the black bars to be open so that you can see the scene. So I'm going to move my playhead to five seconds. And at this point, you can type in the height that you want. So if you want it to be full screen, you could type one and hit enter. And now you see that it's full screen. So if I scrub the timeline, you can see now if I scrub the timeline forward like I'm playing it, it opens up those black bars to reveal the full screen, right? So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I'm on this keyframe exactly. So I'm just gonna tap on the next keyframe button because my playhead is in front of that keyframe. So it'll go right on top of that keyframe. And you know you're right on top of it because the keyframe is red. You can also change the height so that you can still see black bars to make it more cinematic. So for this, you can use whatever number you want. I'm gonna do 0 0.8 and hit enter. And now when the black bars open, they're gonna stay at that position. And it'll look a little bit more cinematic. So if I scrub the timeline again, you can see the bars open from a black screen. And now I have those two black bars at the top and the bottom. If you play it back and you don't like the speed, you can speed it up by moving the keyframes. So if I want it to open faster, then I need to move my second keyframe to the left because it has less distance to travel, which means it's going to open up faster. Now, if you want it to open slower, you can move your keyframe out to the right. And now because there's le there's more space to travel, it will take a longer time for it to open, which means it'll open slower. I'm gonna move my keyframe back to five seconds.
And now when you're done, you can go ahead and click on OK. And then you can play it back. And that's how you make a beautiful black bar intro using Cyberlink PowerDirector 18 and PowerDirector 365. If you decide that you like PowerDirector and you want to buy or upgrade to the software or purchase a 365 annual subscription, I'll leave some links in the video description. Don't forget to drop me a comment and a like down below. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.